Hey guys, I'm doing a tutorial on spawn eggs now. Basically in this video I'm going to teach you how to, in vanilla minecraft, this is vanilla minecraft as you can see right here, and we're going to use commands and cheats to get spawn eggs, all of the different spawn eggs including spawn eggs like iron golems and things like that. So if you're in a survival mode and you need to get onto cheats, just go to open to LAN, allow cheats on start LAN world, you don't need internet on for this and you don't need friends coming over to do this. Now the first thing I need you to know is the basic command right here that's going to give you a spawn egg. Now you can give yourself any spawn egg, any of these in here and a few extras but at the moment I'm just going to show you a pig spawn egg. What you have to do is slash give nearest player spawn egg and we only want one and the damage value right here is 90. 90 is the ID of a pig and I'm going to put all of them down below in the description and I've got a few more over here that I'll show you later in the chat. So yeah, when I click this it will give me a spawn pig and remember all of these commands in these blocks I'll put below in the description so you can copy and paste them. So one more, I'm just going to show you that this actually spawns Right there we have a nice little piggy. Now the second thing I'm going to show you is the mob spawner because the eggs that aren't in the creative inventory right here, they do not actually spawn if you right click them on the ground and you have to put them in a mob spawner. So the command here is slash give nearest player mob spawner and we only want one and zero is the default. Remember you don't actually need these it assumes this is what it assumes you mean because that's the usual default you only want one and you want the usual type so I'm gonna give myself a monster spawner and it is by default it's a pig and pigs won't spawn so these um, the non hostile mobs right here they won't spawn unless they're placed on grass in a spawner so I'll quickly show you that actually you'll need some grass blocks I'll quickly show that they can't spawn on here. You can use the spawn egg, they can spawn anywhere. But in order for the spawner to work, you're going to have to put them on a bit of grass. Have grass nearby because they'll only spawn on those blocks as you can see. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to show you is slash giving a mob spawner with a mob already in it. So as you can see, that mob spawner had pigs in by default. I'm going to show you how you can get things like iron golem spawners. So what you do is you use the exact same command as before, slash give mob spawner one zero, and you're going to use block entity tag. Now this can be used for a lot of things. A bit later in this video I'll show you how it can be used to put items in a chest when you slash give it. For the moment though, we're going to do block entity tag, and then in here we put entity id villager golem is actually an iron golem so a lot of them are similar so things like creeper you just write creeper you have to remember the capitals though but some are weird like ocelot is actually oz oopsies ozelot is the id so we've also got um iron golem is villager golem and snow golem is snowman I think or maybe like this but some of them are really weird I will put them below in the description though for you to see what is he doing? I'm sorry Mr. Piggy you are not in the mob pen you may not exist so yeah the next thing I'm going to show you is doing a few extra funky things with the different commands to get spawn eggs so let's quickly go and look into that so next we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how you can name the spawn eggs. So if you've seen the enchanting video you'll know that you can use the tag display, name and then I've named this cow which is 92 milkshake. Now the cool thing about this is when we've got this named spawn egg right here, if we spawn this cow it will be named milkshake. So right here, it's pretty cool. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you this. All it is is it's a spawn chicken and it's enchanted with fire aspect. 
Now, if I spawn this, it'll give me this. And I could spawn a chicken, and it would give me a chicken. And when I hit it with this that has an enchanted with fire aspect, it will actually catch fire. And because it's fire aspect 10, it'll kill it pretty fast, and the fire will go for longer. So, yeah. The last one, I've done kind of a bit of a bony seal one. It's... I've named them fire minions and they're basically blazes. I've given it's going to be a stack 64 of blazes which is 61 and I've named them fire minions and they have the actual spawn egg has sharpness 10, fire aspect 10 and looting 10 on and I'm thinking of these as a bit of a thing for a PVP battle and think you can like hit people with it and it's got pretty good sharpness on it so if I spawn in a blaze oops Let's maybe do it in the mob pen too. Then I will get a blaze right here, and if I hit it, because they're immune to fire, fire aspect, um, it hit it in two shots, which is pretty good. So this is sharpness 10 on, think about it. That means it does 10 damage points, because your fist does absolutely no damage. Think of this as your fist. And it had looting on, that's why I got 11 whole blaze rods. And you could use this and set them off on people. And in the little bonus I've done today, I've done a bit of a chest that kind of demonstrates how you could use them. So yeah, I don't know if that was confusing, but I'll put the command below in the description if you want to have a look at it. And yeah, last thing I'm going to show you is all of these right here. We're going to use slash give niche player, or actually I'm going to write my name because we're not using a command block. And I can write spawn egg one and then these numbers right here will give me let's do which would be 66 and there you go I have a witch right here and these other ones they're exactly the same up to these two now they don't have a color because they're not in the creative inventory they've got they look similar to gas but I'm pretty sure they're a bit lighter when I give myself these ones it's going to give me this, but I can't right click it on the ground. Same with the iron golem. And you can't right click it on the ground. Now I'm going to show you that with this mob spawner. If I put this in, I get iron golems. Now another simpler way to do that, one minute. They're giving me swords, that's bad. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. That. And I will show you the ender dragon at the end because I really don't want to get killed by it right now. So, what did I just do? Oh, yes. I showed you how you can put those spawn eggs in a spawn and they will work, but you can't right click them on the ground if they're that color. Now, I don't know if I showed you this one, the entity ID, whether I actually showed you. Can't remember. But yeah, it does the exact same thing. If I stand back, it'll spawn them and everything. So, that's, I reckon that would be pretty good if you had it in a server or something. So the next thing I'm going to show you is our little bonus thing and I'm just going to go up here, hopefully not bang my head, okay. This is our little bonus command today and it's the firebox. Basically what I've done is I've slash give, slash give, given, whatever, give to my, give, okay, I've slash given myself a chest and I've enchanted it with a number that's not actually a chant an enchantment so it makes it it changes the color of the title because when things are enchanted they have like a blue title and it looks different like you can see here they have like different colored titles well what I've done is I've given it a blue title by enchanting it with 52 which doesn't have an enchantment and yeah I've done I've put those fire minions, I've put them in the chest, I've also and put in a fire rod which is like, yeah so I've just put a, a lore and everything and inside it is a fire rod which has fire aspect and sharpness and fire minions which have exactly the same as the rod 
and some fire immunities so hopefully you'll drink those before you go and set off your minions on everyone so yeah I'm hoping that you found this tutorial a little easier to understand if not ask in the comments I'm really happy to explain stuff and things like that and yeah I'll include all these IDs and stuff below in the description so you might be able to copy and paste them all into a notepad and hopefully do some of these commands yourself and if not if you just want to try and do some of these commands I'll put all of these commands right here below in the description and I'll put this bonus one right here in the description and yeah I hope you enjoyed and if you like this video please like it because that would really be amazing and I love to see that you guys like these things and subscribing would help me out a lot so yeah all the usual stuff <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you for more tutorials